massage. Normally it's just sort of one particular uh, massage technique. Right. Just one. And I felt like the Reiki coming in, Correct. the different techniques, yes. and it felt so unique. So I felt like in all of my years of trying signature spa treatments, this was so unique. And I can't now pinpoint it to having this type of treatment anywhere else in the world. And that's why now I can't wait for all of you, the Spirit Girl travel show audience, the Spirit Girl and boy community to come to Raffles Spa to experience this. Now, Debbie, um, all of your team were truly amazing. Indeed. And I loved meeting each and every one of them. And along with yourself, can I congratulate you also on being appointed the spa manager role here at Raffles Maldives. This is just a pinnacle, pinnacle of any spa managers or spa therapist dream. Absolutely. Thank so you congratulations so much. and Thank to you. you and all of the spa because I know in this day and age just how many people want to work in the Maldives. They want to inspire to become a manager if we had someone out there watching today and they're a spa therapist and one day they want to become a spa manager what would you share with them just as some words of wisdom about their you know stepping stone career um, of course like for all the tra spa therapists out there who really wants to step up that career and to be a spa manager uh, as one of the dream uh, in the future you definitely can be you know you you can be anything you want it the first key that to, to get there is that to make sure that you love to do what you are doing you you have a patient in this industry I think this is what is really important things and you be yourself and always do the best in do your best in every little things yeah. and always remember about a process there's always a process to get there and that all you can always learning every day every day is all about a learning process you know and that you have to make sure that every day you are learning a new new thing so then in a year there are 365 days yes. and 12 months and if every day you are learning a new thing about in this industry and you really have a patience one day sooner or later you will really easily to be in that levels where if the spa manager being spa manager is one of your dreams wow that's really powerful so patience it's a process it's about learning and more right. importantly it's about really truly loving loving what you do yeah can i say i felt so i felt how so much love has gone into the raffle spa with yourself and the team and i also felt a strong passion and a strong importance from raffles maldives they really acknowledged how important your raffle spa and what it can play for their visitors and for the guests they truly believe along with yourself how much important self-care is and self-love but more about taking time out when on holidays or vacation and more about your own journey to your own well-being right and after my spa treatment i felt so well i felt so well and i think for me if you're not feeling well you may be feeling stressed. You may be feel like you've kind of just worrying about everyone else, you know, the family, the children, maybe you're just working so much, maybe you just need time out. This is very much the spa in the Maldives to visit and spa resort. They truly believe in well-being, wellness, spa, and how important spa therapy and how it's a form of therapy for healing and for nurturing. And if you have it, a busy, busy mind, which a lot of us do, and you just really want to clear it, then you can do this at the Raffles Spa. Absolutely. And you know, before I say goodbye to our Spirit Girl Travel Show audience and the community, Debbie, this um, has just truly been so amazing. And I honestly can say, 
you will be winning the awards, the World Global Spa Awards, because this there's so many things you're doing so differently, but it's all coming from your own heart and soul and passion. And I felt so much heart and soul, passion, kindness, concern. And can I say, when I got on the boat, oh my goodness, so I got off at the airport, I was flying all morning, traveling, it was a 5 a.m. start. I get my bags, we go to go on the boat. From the moment I stepped on the Raffles Maldives boat, I felt like I was walking into a day spa. It smelled like a day spa, it sounded like a day spa, and I was like, oh wow, oh, this is like interesting. And I could see there was some treatments and I was greeted by Tinny. Um, and you know what, credit to you, tell me a little bit about this whole concept because Tinny taught me how to inhale and exhale. And she really grounded me, grounded me with scent and smell. And then she massaged my neck and my shoulders and my head. And oh, it was just divine. I had no, I've never experienced that before. Generally, I get to anywhere and it's go, 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 you know, get on the boat. We've got to get there this time. They're waiting for you. Like it's hectic, right. hectic. Right. And I'm like, whoo. I'm in the Maldives, I just want to chill. Exactly. So tell me, how did you have, uh, like what inspired Raffles Maldives or Raffles Spa yourself <laughs> to want to start the journey of wellness and well-being, not from the start of the jetty or right. not from just the spa, like actually from the pickup boat point, like what inspired this? Well, actually, it was the idea was really simple. So I was just uh, putting myself um, as a guinea pig in this uh, in this uh, project. Basically, when I mean our guests are coming from a different different part of the world, you know, and feeling exhausted after traveling uh, with the different different time zones, you know, you kind of like really drowning. Um, after this long journey and I feel that when I came here when the moment I sat on the boat you know apart from being excited of joining Raffles uh, Maldives Mirado I was thinking like it would be really great if we if someone at this time at this point just to do a little bit a massage on my neck and my shoulders I would be forever grateful for that you know I think it's that just the concept behind it and I was thinking that Rafa Spa, of course, we always want to be unique and personalized and customized in every single do that we do for our guests, especially when we are in about is part of our commitment of well-being to our guests. The spa, the well-being journey or the emotional or the journey to emotional well-being concepts that we have, it should not start only when you come to the spa. If you don't come to the spa, I mean, you, know, you will never experience this. No, that's really not the concept that we want to bring it in, you know. We want every single guest that is coming to Raffles Maldives Mirado have the first impression is that the well-being, mm. the care of, of, the, uh, of, the, of the property, of the property that can offer, of course. And who is that? That's our spa is playing a really biggest role on this. And this is the concept behind it that really wants to make this emotional well-being journey to be the first impression that our guests could always remember in their journey to, uh, to Maldives, uh, to Raffles Maldives. Yeah, Maldives. well, that was one experience thanks to Trini, yourself, and all of the team at Raffles Spa, Raffles Maldives, that I will never forget. It was the loveliest, the nicest experience ever. And for me as a spa blogger, spa travel reviewer, spa junkie, spa everything, spa travel show, uh, you know, I felt 